This is cube root abstraction. For this equation, we're going to use the example 80,621,528, and we're finding the cube root of that number. The first step that I would have the students take is to count off their periods. So they would count over three to the left and put their tick mark. Three again. So we have three periods. For the first period of 80, we're going to find the cube root. And the students might know, or they can use their cube root chart, that the closest cube that we could make to 80 would be the 4 cube, which is 64. So we'll write that to the, to the right. 4 cubed equals 64. And then we'll be subtracting 64 from 80. and that leaves us with 16. Our next step will be to bring down the second period. So we're bringing down 6, 2, 1. And now we'll do the research to find the trial root of the tens. We know that the hundreds is 4. And so to find the trial root for the tens, we're going to take 166, and we'll divide that by 3n squared. So we have 166 divided by 3 times 4 squared. So we have 166 divided by 48. That gives us 3. 3 will be our trial root. So now we can take the next step. We have the hundreds plus tens cubed. So that's 43 cubed. And that equals 79,507. And I will be subtracting 79,507 from the first two periods, which is 80,621. And that leaves us with 1,114. And I can write that up here. And then our next step is to research our trial root for the units place. So I'll bring down the last period, which is 5, 2, 8. And then I will be taking 11,145. And I'll be dividing that by 3n squared. So this time I'm dividing by 3 times 43 squared. And that's going to be 5,547. And so my trial root for the units will be 2 after I divide 11,145 divided by 5,547. So now I can do my last step, which will be to take 432 cubed, or 432 times 432 times 432, and that equals 80,621,528, and so my trial roots are confirmed. The cube root of 80,621,528 is 432.